Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Missy Wolf. We're here at CRS 2018 with Bailey James. Hi. How are you doing? It's been a long time. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. You guys at home, look at this. <laughs> she brought me the cutest chocolate bar ever with her picture on it. Oh my God, I adore you so much. Aww. Were you just giving these all out at CRS? Yeah, I thought, why? well, my dad ate some of them. I was like, <laughs> Kevin. But no, I'm, I was giving them out. And it's kind of cool that my face well, is on them. This is the best business card ever. <laughs> I'm just going to say, and this business card will get the most attention from me versus all other business cards. It's just going to, it has to, it's going to go right on my thighs too, but I don't care. I love it. So what have you been working on since CMA Fest? Well, my single run girl hit top 37 actually, yes. which was amazing because it was my first single and I'm just so proud of that. Um, I have a new album coming out in the summer. We don't know the single yet, but what I can okay. say about the album is that it is me. I have put my blood, my sweat, my tears, my experience, everything into this album. And so I'm hoping they enjoy it. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Now, the success that you had with your, your debut single. Yeah. I mean, your family, I know because I, I met them. You met them. I know They're that downstairs. They were, oh, are they? Okay, so I know that they were proud of you before. So yeah. what was it like celebrating that success with them? Every week when it reached a big, because there would be pushes where it was like, we went up nine spots, which was a lot. And so we would be next to like Keith Urban and like just the big names. And every week it made my dad happy, which was great because, you know, I lost my brother and he's been, that's been hard for him. So that made me happy, making him happy with my music. Right, right. Well, in music, and we were just talking about this in, a, in, in an interview earlier. Oh, I keep tongue twisting myself. We were talking about it in an interview earlier that music is very healing. It's very powerful. It's it's very therapeutic. It's, and it's true. It's it's the one thing for me that's therapeutic. And I think it's different for every person. And I think everyone deals with things differently. But music has helped me through a lot of situations. Absolutely. And the fact that you're actually being able to bring some peace and some comfort and some happiness to your dad that's a that's a pretty amazing feeling. It's got to be. I think something good can come from this. Mm -hmm. And. Um, that's why I joined the Jason Foundation, right. which as their first teen spokesperson, and they bring awareness to teen suicide and suicide in general. I think that that's me bringing something good to it, because if I can help one person and spread the word and talk about a topic that not most teenagers care or want to talk about until it happens to you, then. Well, exactly, and that's the thing, and it's just, for so many people, things like that are out of sight, out of mind. They don't think about it. They don't they don't feel, they don't empathize with it until it happens to them. And then they're like, oh my gosh. So the fact that you're able to put that out there and, and try to help others and, you know, that that's huge. And I mean, you're so young and you're just your whole passion about your career and about your life and about others, I, I think is something that other people need to take a lead on. Thank you so much. And yeah, when I wrote Run Girl, I was kind of in that mindset because I feel like us teenagers these days, like we're just like glued to our phones and we think that we have to, our social medias have to showcase how our lives are so great. And that's not always the truth. I feel like we need to show each other that imperfection is a thing and that we all can help each other and benefit off each other. And so I think that teenagers, we just need to get a little inspiration which was what run girl was about i was trying to get teenagers to you know chase their dreams and do what they want to do even if everybody else says you know what that's that's a horrible idea which i've gone through that i i was in school and they were like bailey country music really like you're 15 you can't do that you're not taylor swift and i'm like oh well this is what i want to do so good for you standing up for yourself so where can fans find you my fans can find me on Instagram. Instagram's my favorite, Bailey James Gang. I post a lot of crazy stuff on there. My website is baileyjamescountry.com. My Facebook is Bailey James. And my Snapchat, if you have it, is Bailey James Gang. All right, well, awesome. You guys at home, check her out. She's got great music. More on the way, so stay tuned for more from this awesome girl, and we'll see you soon. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to our interview here at CRS 2018. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, share us with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.